a fish story about Wally and the Pollywogs. Before gathering in their schools each day, young fish would play games in the shallows of Lake Puddlesworth. There were little suckers hiding from sunnies and fingerlings chasing after minnows. But the Pollywogs were always looking for trouble. The Pollywogs spotted Wally coming up from the deep, wearing his name tag the very first day of school, and decided to have some fun. Did you drop your lunch money, Wally? Wally bent over to take a closer look and fell flat on his belly. Wake up! The Pollywogs all yelled together when they saw Wally laying on the ground. Don't go to sleep now or you'll be late for school! The Pollywogs roared with laughter and everyone else smiled, but not Wally. Next morning, the Pollywogs were waiting as Wally came up from the deep. Are you ready for physical education today, Wally? asked one of the Pollywogs. He slapped at Wally's feet with his tail and sent him flipping head over heels. Nice somersault, cried all the Pollywogs as they laughed at Wally once more. Other small fish had stopped to watch what was happening. They clapped at Wally's performance and laughed along with the Pollywogs. It seemed like great fun, but not to Wally. On the third day of school, the Pollywogs were there to greet Wally once again. Hi, Wally, said the loudest Pollywog. How about a fin slap, buddy? As Wally raised his fin... The Pollywog pushed hard against it, sending Wally into a spin. The Pollywogs kept Wally spinning around until he was so dizzy he couldn't see straight. Instead of walking to school, he walked back home. When Wally didn't show up before school the next day, everyone looked at the Pollywogs. We don't know where Wally is. They said, We don't even know where he lives. I thought he was your buddy, exclaimed the purple fish named Filbert. But the Pollywogs admitted they had not even met Wally until school started. Filbert and some of the other fish decided they would look for Wally, and they headed towards the deep water. The Pollywogs decided to follow. Filbert and his fish friends followed the rocky lake bottom into the darker waters of the deep. It was hard to see away from the shallows, but they soon found Wally sitting on the front step outside his house. We missed you today in the shallows, Wally, said Filbert. Are you okay? I guess I'm okay now, replied Wally as he looked up and smiled. He was happy they cared about him. The Pollywogs had been watching from behind a rock when they turned to see a giant mouthful of teeth. Help! They cried as they jumped up and ran towards Wally's house. Giant teeth! Wally looked at the Pollywogs. Then he called out to the giant shadow behind them. Dad, these are my school buddies from the shallows. For an instant they all saw a giant milky white eye glaring at them. A big tail slapped out at the Pollywogs. Then the shadow passed. The Pollywogs thanked Wally and apologized for the way they had treated him in the shallows. Can we still be buddies? They asked. 
Wally picked up his backpack, smiled, and replied, Okay, buddies, let's all go to school together.